Last week, I was told that I had a hearing in Kotobaru and I had to be present physically because I was asked to cross-examine an expert, a science expert. We had to apply for police permit. It took a long time. We got it. The police were very helpful. It was very stressful in the airport because you had to wear gloves and masks and you don't touch anything and then you go and sit in the aircraft you have no idea who sat there before you you're like wiping it fortunately mala had to do some administrative work and my wife we brought her along and so mala was sitting next to me and both of us were very highly stressed i was thinking about cross-examination the next day i was first asked to lay out evidence it was a very technical subject we were all very stressful and I'm an old man, you know, I don't have the energy and I was much younger. We landed in Kotabaru the night before the hearing and there two people were waiting for us. It was Farida, the lady in charge of the solicitor's branch in Kotabaru, as well as her husband Rodi, who was liaison. He would take us to the hotel, check us in, make sure we were comfortable. He would take us to court return us to the airport in his car and so forth. Took us to the hotel, checked us in and I said, oh, I want to eat something. And as you know, I'm vegetarian. I don't eat any meat. And Rudy hunted down the shop somewhere in Kotobaru where I could have Chinese food, which was vegetarian, which was also halal because you couldn't go for dinner without Rudy and Farida, the wife. And so we said, why don't we invite the family? So one of the sons came along and we had a wonderful time. What Farida did was when the food arrived, she would serve me first. The next day we went to court. We finished our business by about lunchtime. We expected to continue until four. For some reason, we had to stop by lunchtime. And the question arose, what shall we do? So I turned to Farida and I said, Nabo ape? And she said, Ranta Panja, she said. So I said, yeah, okay, Ranta Panjang, so what do we do? So we ended up there and Rudy was sitting in front of me. Farida was on the other side, busy helping us order food. And I had ordered in the afternoon something to eat, nasi goreng. But before nasi goreng came, somebody asked me a question, do you like mangoes? I said, yeah, would you like to have some Klantanese Siamese food? I said, yeah, fine. Plate was put in front of me. It had gelatinous rice. It's called pulut. And then on top of the pulut, they, they place half a mango, nicely diced. And on the mango, they will pour this thick liquid coconut milk. So I assumed it was for me. And the three of us, Mala, my wife, and our solicitor, at it. They were very kind. They add only two spoons. I finished it. So Rodi, who was sitting not two feet from me, had invited us to continue to eat that thing. We said, look, Rodi, nak makan? Silakan. He said, tak, tak, saya dah buat. So after about 40 minutes, and the shop was very busy, I asked Rodi, Rodi, you order apa? He said, saya pun order mangga pulu. So what actually happened was, I had been served by accident Rodi's food. Rodi knew all about it. He wouldn't interrupt me. He wouldn't tell his wife. He waited and he waited until I finished. And then I said, Rodi, why aren't you eating? And he said, oh, I'm waiting for my food. I said, what food is it? He said, sir, to Emake, you ate my food and I, you were enjoying it, so I didn't want to stop. I felt so bad. Then we ordered two or three more dishes and I tell you, I didn't eat anything else for the day. And afterwards, Rodi and Farida took me and said, this is where you buy this kind of special nuts, macadamia nuts. They give you bits and pieces of metal, you know, you insert it, they sort of drill a hole in it, you insert it and you twist it, it will snap. They gave me some baby nanas, which they drenched in some sweet liquid. And then they took me to different places. And from the time we went there the night before to the time we left, we were treated as members of the family. There was no obeisance and bowing and all this. Stuff. We were treated as members of the family. And I realized one thing about the Klantanis, they are wonderful. Once they accept you as a member of a family, you are a member of the family. Isn't that wonderful? So I tell you what happened. So we were, as I said, all stressed out after a year. We had to get the police phone, we'd go there. The judge was so nice to us. The court staff was so pleasant. Even the security guards usually, have you done this? Have you checked this? None of that. Very polite. 
thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and we de-stressed. And I tell you, it's the first time, I think in 11 months, I had a good day in court. What a wonderful trip it was. Farida and Rodi and Kamesh, thank you very much. And my friends in Klantan, Trima Kase. Until I see them again at Rantapanje, Selamat tinggal.